uh, sweet friends and happy Sunday. We are up bright and early and we are headed to Walmart. We're headed into Walmart to buy a few, a few groceries, but mostly we need dog food and laundry soap and that type of thing. So that's why we're here at Walmart instead of our regular HEB. The Onyx bathhouse bath bombs, the ones that we were getting at the Dollar Tree for a, a buck 25. They have them here at Walmart for two dollars. Groceries for the week. Uh, got a little more groceries than I thought we would, but I did want to just run up and down each aisle and see if there was anything that we needed. And we did get this bin for the rest of the Easter supplies or decor rather. And I think we're going to come in at about eighty-four dollars. So we're going to head to the register and get checked out. So it was one hundred fifteen seventy-five. Figured out my miscalculation. Um, I forgot to add in our um, these to the total. I put um, six, seven, eight, which would have been eighty-four, but I forgot these other tens, so that added another thirty dollars to the list. So I would have guesstimated in at a hundred and fourteen dollars. And we spent $115.75. So not a bad calculating whenever you do the math right. But we're here at the gas pump, so we're going to get us some, some gas and head to the house. Unleaded gas this week is $3.96 a gallon. Full tank today, I said about 126 miles to eat, so $54.63 for almost 14 gallons a gallon. And we're home. So as I had shared with you in the video, we spent $115.75 there at Walmart. So I'll hop right in, show you what I purchased. Got some butter lettuce. This is my favorite, $2.73. Picked up some grapes, $3.21. I got the the black seedless grapes. Avocados for salad, 96 cents each. And a cucumber, 50 cents each. I got some hard boiled eggs. I took the easy way out this week. Instead of making my own, I just went ahead and purchased them. $1.97 for six. And I needed a dozen eggs, so these were $2.67 a dozen. <clears throat> Frozen Ida picked up these uh, El Monterey beef and bean burritos, $4.62. Usually we get the chimichangas, they're in the, the blue packaging, but I have not seen those in a while. So went ahead and got those quick, easy meal. Picked up some soups. I like these for work. Put them on my shelf. I actually got four of them. Um, two beef and two chicken. They were 42 cents each. So be mindful of that because these are at the Dollar Tree for a buck 25. So got some ding dongs. $3.12. And I finally found a Le Choy sweet and sour sauce. I have been looking for this for a long time and I finally found it. Uh, $2.82. I had only been able to find um, this Kikkoman brand and I don't, I'm not really a big fan of it. I like the Le Choy, so I was excited to find Le Choy. So got that. Some non-grocery items that I purchased are these slow cooker liners. I use uh, the slow cooker a lot to cook um, the dog some chicken. And so I like to have this. No muss, no fuss, no cleanup, just easy. $4.24 for eight of them. Uh, they were out of the big box. I usually get Oakley the big box of dog food. So I just went ahead and got him the small one. It's 12 pouches for $6.40. Picked him up some of these Dream Bone Dino Chews. These are his absolute favorite, but they're kind of pricey. You only get seven of them, and they're $13.98. So he doesn't get these every day, but, you know, one or two a week maybe. Kind of spread those out because they're so pricey. 
got a large thing of Tide. This is the, I don't know, Hypo, no, Hygienic Clean Heavy Times 10 Duty for um, $27, 24 cents. This is the big one. Does it even say how many you get? Oh, 63 caps. 63 packs. So this is the really big one. Who would have thought? I spend $30 on laundry detergent, but here we are. Got some um, diaper wipes. I like to keep these stocked up here at the house. I use them uh, $15.27. So it's 700 wipes, 11 packages. So got that. And then last but not least, y'all saw I got this large tote. This is a Sterilite tote. It is a 30 gallon and it was $16.48. I need that so that I can put the rest of the Easter decor up. And we're gonna get that done here in uh, just a few minutes. We got lucky and everything that was left over fit into the big bin. And we ended up not needing the older little bin. So we have this big bin three more big bins and then the clear pink bin. And then the other items here, these pictures, well, I'll put these in the attic. And we are done undecorating from Easter. Woohoo! If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Become part of my friends here on YouTube and I will see each of you in my next video. Bye guys.